Well, like I said, I travel a lot and I don't have much with me. Here, take this gold piece. It's all I can spare. Now, look at that. He gives you one gold piece. Save his life and all you can spare is one gold goddamn piece. What a cheat skate. Kill all these. And now we can save the farm because the farm quest is like right next to this. Just go, uh, yep, there it is. And we can break all the barrels. And that one that's talking right now, he's a psycho. You hit him and he'll go nuts. Just like this. There you go, he'll go nuts all over the screen. And the barrels all around here to refill your life. Now, if you talk to his sign, it says, Smilestein Farm, we grow it, you eat it. Now, I disagree with that. Everyone in Stonebrook's high, they're all weird. Should be, we grow it, you smoke it. That sign is nothing but a cover up. And that explains how Dink's house burnt down. Dink was out there getting some elk tree nuts, because his mum told him to go out there to get him out of the house. While he was gone, she tried to smoke a bit of wacky weed. There were some complications, and she accidentally set fire to the floor, and before you know it, the whole house goes up in flames. So there you go. That's one less mystery in the world of Dink Smallwood. Okay, now we can talk to this guy, and he has a rip-off bridge toll. Look at this. You don't have enough gold. God damn it. Did something touch me? A fly, perhaps? A hundred gold to pass a bridge. Dink should just pick him up and hurl him in the sea and watch him drown to death. What a rip-off asshole. Now that is even worse than the cheat's gate that only gave you one gold for saving his life. And you know what? It looks exactly the same. Same blue person and everything. He probably got your one gold. Now he's come back, standing in front of the bridge to wait for you. Now he steals a hundred more gold off you. He's nothing but a rip-off prick. And I mean that. I'm not saying that just to be funny. He's nothing but a goddamn rip-off prick. We can go up here and we can beat the bonker right up here in this cave. We can push this rock out of the way. And that is where the bonker is. Go in the cave. And go up here. Now, to the west is a big red heart, but you want to save it till after you kill the bonker. And there's the bonker. And quickly run over there and stop him from killing the duck. Because you want to kill it yourself. Because killing ducks is fun. Yes, come over here. Thank you very much. Now we can own him. And here's a little thing you can do. Just sit there circling him. And when he hits and misses, just quickly hit him like that. And then he'll never be able to hit you. It's a good tactic. It works. Just like that, see? But I'm going to go up here because there's like more room. Oh, it's probably the same, but whatever. Looks a little bit more. And then after we're finished owning him, we can own the duck as killing duck up. Asshole! Stupid duck getting in the way. And as you can see, I didn't get to kill the duck after I killed him. Which really sucks, because that is what I look forward to when I play Dink Smallwood. Killing the ducks. It's not the only thing, but killing ducks is fun, come on! Open this chest and get the heart. Yeah, it's kind of hiding me on the chest, you couldn't see it properly. Alright, now we can exit the cave and go back to Martridge, the midget's house. But before we do that, I'm going to go east, kill some monsters. Get as much XP as we can at this point in the game, like I said, so you don't have to come back later and suck up pillbugs balls. Break the barrels open, kill these. Really, these are so weak. I always think of pillbugs as just free XP, no matter what point in the game. Although there are some demons on the Dink Network that you can download, and on some of them, when you start off, the pillbugs are pretty tough, and... I don't think of them as just free XP then, but in this, like, when they're about this strength, I do. Because really, if you die on a pill bug, you lick a bonkers ass at this game. Okay, so let's go back to Martridge the Midget. Go right back here. Just cover the distance all the way back. Kill a duck to break the boredom. And damn, that was awesome. I'm going to kill another one. Die! Alright, let's keep going all the way back to Martridge's uh, cabin. And... Kill the pillbugs again on the way back for more XP. And the slime will probably all probably be appeared back. The slime to the south of Martridge's cabin. So I'll kill that too. So let's go up here. And now we have proved ourselves because we've killed the bonker. So now we can get our magic, yay! I'll kill the slime on the way back. And 
I don't know why I went in there because I've already got that secret. Go up here. And he's gone. And he's left her a letter. Hey, it's a scroll from Martridge. Let's see. Oh, let us scroll, same thing. D Dink. If you're able to see this, then it means you truly do possess the ability for magic. Yay. I unfortunately have been called away and cannot instruct you any further. But there are many teachers out there. You will find one and further your training. There are 200 gold pieces enclosed. Spend them wisely. Well, there you go. For now, I'll leave you with this spell, your first spell. Alright, it's my first spell. Maybe I can burn down some trees. I now have fireball magic. Yes, so that kind of gives you the hint that you can burn down trees. Now, you can burn down the lighter colour trees, such as this one. And it's taking too long to charge, so stuff that. Let's go down here and fry a slime. There you go, dead. Now we can go back to the save machine just north of Stonebrook. We're going to end the part there again. Same place we ended the previous part. So let's go across here. To the west and then to the north in between these trees and save the game and that ends this part and this is the last old video I have to re-commentate all the rest are from ages ago when I did them and that's it hope you liked it happy birthday uh, I don't know if it's your birthday if it is then awesome I'm a good guest